and sisters in Christ. Let's go. Standing tall and looking good, we ought to be in Hollywood. Isaiah chapter number 30, verse number 7. For the Egyptians shall help in vain, and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. Be still, Psalms 46 and 10, be still and know. And know that I am God. Okay? Now go write it before them in a table. Put the word on stone. Get it in paper. <coughs> and note it in a book. Write it in a book. Everything has been written down. How God going to do it, I'm not chasing that rabbit. Because y'all know my mind go to, and then next thing you know, I'm chasing a rabbit and all over the world and here and there and everywhere. Okay. Uh, note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. So, some of us, we're not book readers, some of y'all. And some of us, we are book readers. But your entire eternity is going to be learning of God. Just, you know how I many books, libraries there are in the heavens? <laughs> you know how I many? You can't even count them. Can't even count them. You know, what a day of rejoicing it would be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory. You might have a hill or a mountain to climb, but you're not alone. God is with you through the process. I know the religious going to say, why are you going to climb the mountain? Speak to it. And tell that mountain, get out the way, mountain. Move, mountain. Oh, God. Help them. Please, Jesus, help them. They need so much help. They need so much help. They don't know the mountain could be their blood pressure pill. They, they ain't stopped taking the blood pressure pill. But yet they want to tell you to move the mountain. Here it is. That this is, watch this, write this in the book, that this is, be still, a rebellious people. This is a rebellious people. Write it down. The burden of the beast of the south into the land of trouble and anguish from which come the young and old lion, the viper with fiery flying serpents. They will carry their riches upon their shoulders, upon the shoulders of young asses, and their treasures upon the bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them. What, you know, folks, what gets me is that God made this gold and silver and diamond and jewels, and, but I've got a problem, and I have to pray about this and ask God to help me because this stuff, it means nothing to me. And the only time that I ever wanted things perhaps growing up as a kid, was because of peer pressure or the fit in or to have a pair of Converse tennis shoes 
We, we couldn't even have converse. We were so poor. And to see money, to hold a quarter, a dime, a nickel in a, and to look at God, it had so much power back then. And I can still feel that same thing today, but it means it has no bearings. So this is what scares me. This is what scares me. Because Father gave us all things richly to enjoy. But some people are enjoying the wrong richly all things. They think it only means having money to richly enjoy. No, no, God, no. No, Jesus, Lord, help us. The greatest feeling that I've ever had in the world, I'm not talking about basic training and AIT in the military. The greatest fulfillment that I've ever had on this earth was when I thought that I have had what I always wanted, which was a family. I thought that if you could just have that, just, just a family, then you had, it was the greatest feeling to, to know that I had to provide for children, for a person next to you, and you as the man taking care of all that, and you're pleasing in the sight of God. I thought, and still to this day, a family is the greatest thing you can have, y'all. If you ever get that, I'll probably never have it again. I never had it before, really. No, I really didn't. <laughs> I wish that I had it. I tried, but I didn't. You can't, you can't raise another man's family. You can't do it, y'all. You cannot do it. You can't get a ready-made family. You can't do it. Okay, that's the mistake I made. My son won't make that mistake. He will not do that. But if you have that, a husband, a wife, and two or three children, y'all got the world. You don't see it. You don't know it. But maybe that's just me being like God. You know, that's what I've always felt. You see, but the enemy knows. And thank God that he allowed Satan to do what he did. I thank him every day that he allowed Satan to do what he did. Because what I had was no good. And if you got a no good family, y'all ain't got nothing. Y'all ain't got nothing. Even though I tried to make it the best, you don't have nothing. You don't have nothing. If you got a no good family, you ain't got nothing. That you better believe now. And most of you, you don't have a no good family. A no good family is really hard to find. You understand? That means the wife ain't no good, or the daddy ain't no good, or just the children just flat out ain't no good, or all of them just ain't no good. That's a no good family. Okay? Here it is. Tell it like it is and keep on rolling. I know I'm going to tell it and keep rolling. I ain't stood it. No, I sure ain't. That's why I tell it. Me, 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 me. Me, me, me. Pretty soon you will never have to hear from me again. Me again. Me again. So you better curse me now. Curse me now. <laughs> Humans. I told y'all I'm bipolar, schizophrenic. 
the whole nine yard PTSD. I'm loaded with it. Loaded with PTSD. <coughs> Here it is. Lord, thank you. I know it, Lord. I'm going to quit. Here it is. That this is a rebellious people. Lying children. Lying children. It's in your Bible. Y'all got some lying children. How do you know? Because I got them. Well, I had them. Not no more. Not no more. This, this, that's, that's true. It's really true now. This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. And that's what we are in today's time. <laughs> you, can't, you can't. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. God help us all. Mm -mm. Just Lord help us. We're, we're doomed. We're doomed. We're, we're just doomed. We live our life like God don't matter. Or there is no God. Or I don't care about God. And then we need God, oh Lord. Help. I tell y'all what, I can't tell y'all nothing. Here it is. They won't hear the law of God. Listen to verse number 10 in Isaiah 30, which says, which say to the seers. Now, I like that word, seer. I, I love that word, seers. And I wish that it wouldn't have a thin line. Uh, with the uh, occult or the uh, witches out there, seers were called prophets. And the reason I like it is because it relates to me as far as a word meaning. Because that's what I've always said, even before I knew what a prophet was, was I can see I'm a seer. I can see. You see. And... Uh, that's a really unique word. Really it is, seers. I really do love that word. Which say to the seers, see not. So that's why I told y'all <laughs> the other day, y'all don't have to worry about me telling y'all about no more dreams, no more visions, no none of that stuff. Y'all go back into the old archives. See, because over 10 years, <laughs> we must 365 days a year, Times ten, we got a, we got a probably what ten thousand videos, <laughs> and you got about three or four hundred, <laughs> and you bragging on your two or three videos, <laughs> and we got thirty years of this stuff backed up in the archives of the thieves, you know, twenty years. Y'all would love to see me twenty five years ago in a hot rod church getting out. We had it all. A library, every video, every video is recorded. And it's still recorded to this day. And the guy that did the recording watched Living Strong every day. Every day. It's in the archives of the thieves. I'm telling you, Satan has it. Satan put his hand on a man. And sir, you know I know who you are. I saw the picture. Satan put his hand on the man, literally, and took a picture with the man. This is, this is, this is literally recorded, the picture of the deaf angel of Satan, the demon, got his hand on the man's shoulder, in the picture with his horn coming up, got his hand on his right, which is where he's sitting. On his shoulder. He's facing this way. Looking out. In the picture, his house camera activated and took the snapshot. The devil posed with him and took the picture. And, and showed it to me. This is crazy. And we was all in church looking at it. We are like, are you serious? Are you serious? We're like, that's no angel of God. That's a... So, that person... I saw the devil 
These things are real, y'all. God help us, Jesus. I'm not going nowhere. I'm through. Today is Sunday. We're through with this. I'm done already. I don't care if you cut me, clip me, close me, whatever. I'm telling y'all this. Y'all got to know this. Y'all got to know this. This, this thing, black, real, just like, just like those ones dancing in that Transylvania cartoon, the big demon in the back, with, this thing is real. Took a picture with the man, and that same person is the one that the enemy used to steal every video that I ever recorded because I trusted him and loved him. And in the end, the devil took a picture with him and showed me that he was working for him the whole time, never me. I used to wonder why that man never could give no offering. I used to wonder why he was so stingy. Now I see. Now he got all of that treasure of me. And what is he going to do with it? Who is he going to give it to? You see, he stole it from the kingdom of God because Satan don't want y'all to see and to know this level of anointing. But it don't matter to me. I'm giving it to you now to let you know how evil Satan is. And he's probably recording these videos also. That's right. That's right. That's right. Here it goes. Which say to the seers, see not. So y'all can have it. I, and, and, and the Lord let me know. God said, now prophet, if I show you the dream or the vision, and I tell you to say it, then say it. Well, that's what I've been doing all along. But right now, I'm not volunteering none, none. That's how bad, the, 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 that's how bad them folks done ate y'all up. That, that's how bad them witches done tow y'all up on that internet. Them witches done tow y'all up. Them witches tearing y'all up. And let me say this now, I'm going to say this because, because I got to say it. Some of y'all better watch it out there. I'm going to give it to you straight. I know that people are praying for you. I know the church is praying for you. Y'all don't know the system like I do. Y'all don't know Satan and the government and the evil. You think you know it, Hot Rock, but you don't know it. You hadn't gotten threatened yet. They hadn't threatened you. They may be watching you and letting you talk, but they hadn't threatened you at all. They're not going to threaten you, hot rod. They're going to kill you. Y'all had better watch it out there. Because with what y'all are saying, the government sees it and the system sees it as worthy of death. I know you say you got God. The Lord is my son. A thousand fall at thy side. I know you're full of it. But you don't know them. You don't know them. They will let you talk and they will kill you. So y'all be careful, watchful, and forevermore prayerful, especially about what y'all saying out there. Because y'all dig in your graves. And there are people that want to kill you because of that. And people that will kill you, they just haven't given you the signal yet. I could tell y'all something that'll blow your mind. But the Lord won't let me tell it. See, that's why I tell y'all, if anything happened to me or would have happened, <laughs> y'all know who did it. Okay. Let's 
stuff is true now. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help you. Which say to the seers, see not into the prophets. We're in, <coughs> excuse me, Isaiah 30 and uh, 10. Into the prophets prophesy not unto us right things. Prophesy not unto us right things. Y'all see that? That's sad, isn't it? Telling the prophet that if you don't speak great and swelling words, don't say nothing. But whatever you do, don't tell us the truth. We don't want that. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. I used to wonder why God would show me nine, ten bad things about a person. I would see everything just terrible, terrible. And I would see only one good thing, just one. And I would prophesy just to that one hope. Because I, I had already been killing them up on everything else, you know. They don't stand, they just stand, they, you know, people, they just, they would get killed up. But when I would prophesy and minister to that one thing, God would take that one thing and turn that thing into something like Bruce Lee or Jet Lee and have that one good prophecy to whoop all ten of them bad prophecies by himself. All the other ten bad things. That one good thing would whip them all. I've seen a many people. Hey, glory! I better watch out now. Many people delivered. Because you, you ministered to their hurt. You ministered to the truth of their pain. You, you saw in them what you believed which is, I believe in what I see in you. And God would take it and turn it. Take it and turn it. Many marriages that were supposed to end up in divorce, God would stop them on a dime. Because I tell that brother, don't you move. I tell that sister, don't you move. We can tell others, but we can't tell our own now, can we? So God know how to minister unto you. He's letting us know if you see it, it's evil, you say it. But don't prophesy smooth things. Prophesy right things. You see. So there's a balance that God brings. And he's far more greater than we are. Far more greater. You know. Um, that's just all there is to it. Get you out of the way. Verse number 11. Get you out of the way. Did you hear that? That's the problem. We in God's way. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. You're in the way. Get off the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. <laughs> you know, <laughs> boy, they do anything to get away from God and get rid of God, you know. This battle is going to go on. Earth is the final battle. I wonder if it's the final battle, though, will there be others after Earth? Will there be other Earths out there, planets? 
that wants God in this and save us, we will be witnessing the rebellion of other planets and spirits and creatures. But we will be like the angels looking and judging and watching. Cycle got to go on. Something wrong, y'all. Either that or something wrong with me. I feel like I'm sitting here, but I don't feel like I'm here right now. I actually feel like I'm in another. I, I better stop because this is spooking me out, man. <laughs> this is, boy, this stuff spooking me out here, boy. Well, I better stop this spooky stuff here. Because something ain't right. Minister, man, I'm going to be glad to get out of here on this Sunday, man. We done had a full day today, double header. Oh, get on. Something just ain't right. Something is not right, y'all. Something wrong. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression, in perversiveness, and stay their own. God said, you don't just trust in it. You stay with it. You love it. You love that stuff. Just loving it. Man, please. Therefore, this iniquity Excuse me. We're going to get this thing straightened out. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. <laughs> Bearing off course. A breach is a barrier. Been sitting up all this time. Now that brick wall coming down, children of Israel. Ready to fall. Swelling out in a high wall. Remember those great swelling words? <laughs> I got so tickled at my brother, Obama. I looked at him when he had to speak at that little thing up there with Harris, Sister Michelle up there too. And I looked at Brother B, Obama, and I said, Brother Obama, I said, it's over now, man. I said, you can't fool me no more. I said, you fooled us the first time. You will never be able to fool us again, man. Your great and swelling words don't have the same power, don't have the same attraction, none of it. I looked and all I could see was nothing but $3 bills. That's why I told y'all I wasn't going to vote again for a black man ever again. I didn't say I wasn't going to vote for no black woman, but at this time, y'all know how I am. No. Because we suffered under black leadership. And I believe the black woman, if they do the same thing to us that they did under that black man, even though time done went on, time done changed a little bit, Black people getting ready to suffer real bad under this woman. All because she black and we black. But just like Obama, she ain't black. She half white or half whatever, just like Obama was. Indian or whatever. Obama half white, he ain't black. She half too. She half too, so it don't matter. It don't matter. We ain't never had no black president, never will. That's why I ain't voting for him. Let y'all vote for him. Minister, I don't know where my clock at my time. I don't care, man. This is a Sunday. I've had a long week. We're taking a break. We're just getting started back. Okay. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, 
swelling out in high in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. God is saying, I'm gonna tear this thing down so fast until y'all ain't gonna know the wall doesn't fail down. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. Just think about the potter's house every time you hear that. He shall not spare so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it a shard to take fire from the hearth or to take water withal out of the pit. There's not going to be a vessel left to even hold water. And y'all sit up there and think this stuff is not going to happen. I'm just going to read and finish it here. For thus saith the Lord God, verse number 15, the Holy One of Israel, in returning in rest shall you be saved. Did you see that? In returning and rest shall you be saved. I don't know about y'all, but I told y'all it's time to return, time to separate, be still, returning in rest. Ain't y'all tired? Aren't you tired? In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and you would not. God, Lord, help us. Jesus, but you said no, for we will flee upon horses. Therefore shall you flee, and we will ride upon the swift. Therefore shall they that pursue you be swift. You fast, but they're going to be faster. One thousand, I'm closing. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of, of one. One thousand, a thousand shall fall at that side, ten thousand at that right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. One thousand go run from one. Y'all can have this. Y'all can have it. At the rebuke of five, you shall flee till you be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain and as an ensign on a hill. There's a person that's bearing this broadcast. I'm going to tell you something, sister. You be careful. Because they will kill you. They will kill you, sister. I did say sister, didn't I, sister? They will kill you, sister. I'm telling you. So living strong viewers, if y'all hear about a sister being taken out because of the gospel, remember, I warned them. And I told them, they will kill her. These people, they don't know them. I know these people. I've been hunted by them. Y'all have no idea. Okay? I'm in close. I'm close. Sister, I'm telling you, they'll kill you. Take a break. Take a break. Take about seven days. Get off of that show. Get off of that broadcast. They will kill you. Okay? I'm closing, minister, right here. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. Be still. Be still. Now you can sit up there and talk about the Lord as my shepherd all you want. Sit up there and talk about the Lord to protect all you want. 
you're not wise enough. You're not as smart as you think you are. Okay? Listen to the seasoned prophet. I'm not telling you to stop. I'm telling you to watch yourself. Because they will kill you. Who is he talking about? You don't worry about that. They know who I'm talking about. They know. That's going to be my time. I'd like to thank you for yours. Sunday just getting back. Be still. We're going to see what God says. A little bit different. But I've got to go. And um, it's been a long week. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord as the old folks would say. <coughs> and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow night. Y'all have a good night. Love you too. Be still. Bye.